What's good, YouTubers? This is Dave doing a Mongoose Stranger Things edition. 20 inch bicycle sort of review. I haven't ridden it, obviously, but uh, I wanted to address some things that people aren't addressing in the other videos. There's been a couple of videos done on this bike. Well, a couple of guys pick it apart. Um, one guy rides it, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, he hooks it up with a with a few bigger parts, some bars, and makes some changes to it. And he actually rides it, beats the balls off. And it's actually kind of cool because that's what BMX is supposed to be about. But um, I want to talk a little bit about the bike. Um, but I want to address some stuff in terms of how you go about getting one of these bikes. Um, Target was supposed to have these for June 30th release and um i guess nobody really told any of the employees because they just started selling them um and guys like me called around and located them and managed to get these for 209.99 um i managed to actually get 10 percent off on both of mine so with sales tax i was still like 200 bucks um and, uh, you know, as most of you may know, they're selling them on Craigslist and eBay for $600. Now, the real going rate is around double what I paid. Um, you know, you, you can expect to get easily $400 for them. I have seen completed listings of, uh, of close to six. Um, as the TV show goes along with this new season that just dropped the other day, uh, dropped to uh, July 4th. Today's the 6th or 7th. Today's the 7th, I think. Anyway, just a couple of days ago. So um, we're going to see what supply and demand does. Um, quite frankly, you know, a lot of people are buying them under speculation that they're going to get a thousand bucks for them. Maybe people hold out till Christmas or whatever. Um, I really don't give a shit. Um, they were 200 bucks a piece. Um, they're super cool bikes. And I'm figuring I'll go ahead and hold out, maybe wait till Christmas and see if I can do a local sale and not have to ship it. Shipping a bicycle is a total pain in the ass. But at any rate, um, I wanted to kind of point out some, some stuff about the bike, good, bad, indifferent. Um, and, um, but I wanted to address the, the elephant in the room too, which is that everybody is buying these things to flip them. Now, you know, if you have a kid that is really big into this show or, you know, you're big into the show and you really want one of these bikes, try calling around. You might find one. Um, if not, try Craigslist and say, look, you know, um, I, I really like the bike. I'm a collector. I'm not trying to flip it. I know you're trying to make your money, um, but you won't have to ship it, blah, blah, blah. Play the game. Do what you can do. Um, it's kind of a shame. I know several guys that have gone out and got five, six of these things just to flip them. And, you know, I got two of them. And I'm into, like, legit um, BMX stuff and then retro cruiser BMX stuff. And I just parted out a $10,000 show bike. Um, so, I mean, I, I got these, you know to flip them, but, uh, but I might, I might hang on to one. I might end up selling them to, you know, friends and I don't really need the money, you know, that bad on this. So we'll, we'll see what goes on, see what the market will bear and all of that. But, um, but I, I get as much out of hooking somebody up as I get, you know, a friend or a family member as I get out of, uh, making a fortune. Now the frame on this, is this thing like legit it's got the double gusset and um gusseted you know th this thing is it, it looks legit like 82 mongoose it, they didn't go with um tough wheels they went with moto mag these are a metal um mag wheel that i haven't really inspected it um to see if it's sealed bearing or not but I would be willing to bet that it's sealed bearing wheels. And um, for $209, man, this is, this is a ridiculous deal on a bike if you were buying it for a kid to ride. It really is. Um, the, the pedals are kind of on the cheap side. They cheaped out there. They could have gone with a really inexpensive metal 
um, pedal, but steel crank, um, sprocket looks error correct. Um, those dropouts, I think we're on like a team model um, or a super goose maybe. Uh, it's got pegs on it. Uh, I'm thinking the TV show Stranger Things. They, uh, you know, Max, the character, this is the Mad Max edition, you know. Um, I, I think that, uh, that he rode, uh, one of his friends rode on the pegs or whatever. It's not like the kids, you know, freestyling, doing, uh, you know, grasshoppers or or uh, lawnmowers on, on the bike, you know what I mean? Um, he's just riding around, it's got this light on it, which doesn't come with batteries, I'm assuming, because I got two of these bikes, neither of the lights actually work. Um, and I wouldn't put batteries in it anyway, because I wouldn't want to forget about them and have them leak and tear the light assembly up. Um, the, the frame, uh, like I was saying, is really nice. It's not chrome. It's not nickel. It's a powder coat finish. I'm sure that uh, mimics the um, nickel frame in the um, you know from the 80s. So the the finish isn't mirror. It's kind of like just a silver metallic that is you know very similar to the nickel finish. Actually, I do work for C4 Labs. That's the leading. The world's foremost leader in BMX restoration. And we've actually got, I do consulting work for Chip over there. We actually have one of these coming in that is gonna get done candy blue. Um, I don't know what they're doing to uh, replicate the stickers, to re-sticker it, but uh, there's one coming in that is gonna get powdered uh, candy blue over this, um, they think, over this pseudo nickel finish, but I'm sure it's gonna end up being blasted and it'll be a two stage. Um, blue, but I'm anxious to see it. I think it's really cool. I think people, you know, I think it's cool that people are buying these and actually like doing stuff with them. They're modifying them, they're riding them. And you know what? If you uh, want to buy one and flip it and make some money, then it's capitalism. It's supply and demand. There's a, there's a lot of heated shit going on about it on Facebook forums and um, people from overseas that are big mongoose fans that they want the bike, Stranger Things fans, they want the bike, um, and there's a limited supply of them. Um, Target kind of shot themselves in the foot. They could have sold these things day in, day out. I mean, for 200 bucks, it's really, you know, it. this is really a cool bike, man. You know, is it a uh, Diamondback Turbo Complete from 1984? No. You know, is it that power light with Redline Flight 401s? No. But is it a $200 Target bike? Actually, no, it's not. This is like a $400 Target bike. It's way underpriced. It's way cool. And, uh, I mean, there's a dude sold one of the frames alone. No forks. Sold the frame for $180, I think, on eBay. I've seen the wheels getting parted out for $179. Um, the pads, grips, and seat getting parted out and getting insane money. So for, for, the, for the folks out there that are big fans of Mongoose and big fans of Stranger Things and they didn't get an opportunity to get one, um, you know, it, it, it's unfortunate because it was kind of luck. You know, somebody told me about it and uh, I was lucky enough to get not one, but two I, in two different states, one up by my dad's house on the way home and one a day later um, in my uh, home state of Jersey, which I'm really surprised that um, it was even available um, because there used to be a racetrack right around the corner from the, from the Target that I got it at. So at any rate, um, you know, you, you can find particulars about the bike um, elsewhere, but you're not getting a whole lot of opinions on them. Um, my opinion is, is it's a really cool bike. And if you have an opportunity to get one, even for three or 400 bucks, um, you know, which sucks that, that you got to pay the premium, but you're going to get your money's worth. You really are. Um, you know, if I had a kid that was the age to ride a bike like this, I think, you know, I think I would definitely hook them up and, uh, and get them started This is a great entry level 20 inch bike even if you're paying a little bit of a premium, and I, I think it'll hold its value, I really do. Um, I don't believe that you can get these wheels anywhere else. Um, you could always have the wheels powder coated, 
and use them for like a resto mod uh, deal, either back on this bike or, you know, get different pads, you know, put them on a different bike, whatever. The wheels alone, I think, are worth easily over 200 bucks. So, um, so at any rate, I just wanted to put something real quick up that um, kind of, again, addresses the elephant in the room and shows you guys what's up with, uh, with these bikes. Um, you can get more particulars from some other videos. Uh, these look very similar to the stainless bars. You know, I didn't address all the components. The grips, they could have done a little better deal um, with these, making them look old school. Um, maybe done some mushroom copies or some Amy copies, or actually they should have had mongoose repop um, that have the print on them is what they should have had. Um, but see, you know, standard Viscount style, um, cashy style, old seat, um, all, all good stuff for the price. So I'll be anxious to see some comments to see um, if anybody managed to, uh, to get one, you know, at, at the going rate of the 209. Um, you know, the, there's like 3,000 of these bikes out there. I think they made 3120 of them. Um, and, uh, and you know, if you had to pay three or 400 for one, you really got a deal. I, I really believe that. And, um, you know, maybe I'll check back <clears throat> and do another video, um, when I figure out what to do with mine. Uh, I'm not soliciting the sale of either of these unless you live down the street from me, in which case you would know that I got them. But, um, you know, I'm not using this video to get people, uh, messaging me to uh, sell the bike and please don't ridicule me over over buying the bike as an investment okay um you know it's it's supply and demand it's capitalism and i don't make the rules i just live by them so i was lucky enough to to get a couple and who knows you know <clears throat> maybe i'll donate one to toys for tots or something i don't know um but uh but anyway, I hope you liked the, the video and hopefully this answered a couple of questions that you have if you didn't know uh, what was going on with, uh, with the release of these bikes and the prices of them and so forth. Thanks.